Hello folks and welcome to the first instalment of my allotment diaries. You join me as we stand in the leaky shed. A very good reason why it's called the leaky shed. As you can see big holes everywhere. Until I can get a, a better place sorted, it'll do for the time being. So yeah, I'll insert a little little clip here now as to what the, the plot looked like when I first took it on. And then we'll go through and we'll have a little look around, shall we? See what I've been up to. So this is now on the front door when you walk in. And then we got the hens, the happy hens laying nicely. What everybody wants in there, fresh eggs. No wee coop. That's the leaky shed I was saying with some wood to build another shed, hopefully, in the front. Some wood that I've been able to collect off the shed that you would have seen in the little clips. And then we move on to the main bit. So, we've got a, an apple tree that I planted just here. Hopefully I'll get a decent crop in a couple of years time. It seems to be settling in well. And then today, I found out over the weekend that you can actually get some manure. I think it's donkey, some donkey poo. So I've put cardboard down layered that up that should go down like settle down and whatnot and I'll put some compost on top same as this bed put the compost on top and then we should come spring have a good growing medium I'm thinking I'll put my shed here now though just where I've been digging this area because I think during the summer months it'll give me a nice view give everywhere for growing do you know that's the sort of the plan. It was either there or over where you see these windows just here, just in front of that. But I think I might stick with here once I've got this area cleared as well. But 
This is the work on the allotment plot so far. Back in the leaky shed now. So there you go, that's that's what I've done so far. I think I've had the, the plot for about two months, possibly. Yeah, about two months, maybe. And we managed to get this far, so. But the hens are happy, they seem healthy. They're laying eggs, we're getting between three and five a day from six hens, which I don't think is too bad. And I've got some rhubarb that I planted in. I managed to get some free rhubarb clones off Facebook Marketplace. So I've got them in and planted. And the main reason, obviously everyone loves a bit of rhubarb, but I've heard they're supposed to be indestructible. So if anything, at least I'll get a crop of rhubarb. <laughs> if nothing else, if nothing else succeeds. I'm gonna end it here now and I'll keep you updated with the progress, how we get on and the transformation. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Bye bye.